take two of the whole uh, rescue the quarry thing. I, I got like 10 minutes into it when I realized, oh, the mic isn't recording. That's just well. So here we are, back at it. I don't even remember if I did the things I said I was going to do because, yeah, it's okay. I remember what I did. Heavy armor, because we're gonna need the extra beefiness. I'm a brick house. Oh, do I want the extra? Hmm. So I want the extra shields, though. You know, last time I went with Gladiator, but I think I'm gonna go with shields this time. I mean, either way, I'm a brick house. What are they gonna do? Get in my way? Yes. And... Rex? Garrus? Did you learn anything? I'm going to go with no. Oh, the Garrus knows first aid, so I think I'll not bother. I do want that adrenaline burst, though. I do want that adrenaline burst. Oh god, and the immunity. I do want to keep one point in reserve in case I get an extra block of uh, either Paragon or Renegade. Garrus, do your thing. Do your thing, do your thing, thing. Basic rounds. Ooh, heat sink. I have I have time. Sort of. Uh, give me that heat sink goodness. And let me see. I want to unequip that. So I want to put the hammerhead on the shotgun. It's just really funny if you do. <laughs> Your shotgun becomes Fusro Da. Except Fusro Da is basically ch ch bone. Take cover! wants to be an idiot. Need to attack him. I know you lost shields. My dude, you um, can't use your barrier for a second. You know, it's kind of funny, but this is exactly what happened in take one. Hold the line! So I can... Enemy is everywhere! That's the shit I'm talking about. I can't go. You take your time getting up. Let's go! Stay down. Yeah, we got him. <laughs> nice cover, Rex. I think I, I, 
Yeah, I like the shields more. Did you bring it? Where's the Shadow Broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Sassy tally. Love the attitude. And I love her love hub explosions. <laughs> Let me see. Let's do it. Let's see if I'll do it a little better this time. Because it's not like Tally's going down. I'll be damned! Oh well, she just gets right to the now. Like, I guess I didn't watch her for the first time, but. Just sword that's gonna be strong like her back. That's kind of funny to be honest. Uh. You know what? Come on with me, Jets. I'm just gonna bump it. She's in it. Chop! why they call it insanity this is just straight up um, uh, well insane I mean you saw it he's just running around getting shot in the butt like hey, this is fine follow me uh, anyways were you hurt in the fight I know how to look after myself not that I don't appreciate the help <laughs> who are you <laughs> Well, I'm not a friend, we just fucking bad. My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. Also, did she say she's fine? I don't think you're, you're fine, You're not making Tally. my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, the an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... I want to say ten. Who's this? The Quarian? Maybe Twelve people. What are killed? you up to, Shepard? All me, baby. Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Geth. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss. My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Veil. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. Are I you? waited for one to become separated I from curious. its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth Inquiry fried their memory cores when they died. Tally. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean, but I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. We have a... Um, however, a more inquisitive, keen mind will ask. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the Conduit. Any idea what that means? The Conduit must have something to do with the Beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. 
Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Uh, I would say between these two, I'm going to go with the right. Reapers are like... They're sort of akin to... Um, um, God, oh man, I'm blanking. The, the, the race, uh, not really a race, but sort of like a race. The... the uh, in in, the, in Firefly, the bad guys on, on the spaceships that come and they slaughter and they, and they do horrible things. But maybe they were also called Reapers. But, yeah. But they're, they're sort of like a folklore, a myth. So I'm going to say sounds familiar. I feel like I've heard that name before. According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. Maybe. But you, being a qualified po uh, politician of higher rank, also sounds far-fetched. She's right, though. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life, and they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. Yeah, will they believe it? <laughs> Don't tell them. We have evidence. Uh, we're not going to fucking tell you, though. What, are we going to pull a Trump in court? Go back to this past election, a judge denying the Trump campaign's request to toss out the election here in Nevada and proclaim the president the actual winner. The judge saying lawyers for the Republicans failed to provide any substantial evidence of fraud. This is a lot to handle. They might just ignore everything we tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The captain's right. We need to present this to the council right away. What about her, the Quarian? My name is Tolly. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I mean, yeah, but what about your quest, yo? I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. This just sounds sort of evil, you know? You could be useful. A pawn on my chessboard. And granted, she will be. But join us sounds a bit more personable. I'll take all the help I can get. There we go. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. And uh, I'm going to go with... Let me see. You don't give a shit. You're insane. And you're kind of boring. So we're going to go with the detective who was, in, in, who was entrenched with a desire to see this done. And she just straight up has the evidence. So I, I feel like not taking tally is a mistake. Speaking of, what does Tally do? Since she is um, being auto leveled, she has an F ton of shields, she does the hacking, she does the electronics, she has basic armor. And I had her with shotguns just because I thought they were useful, but maybe she'll actually do a little better with pistols you know because she dropped a lot me, when i played through Shepard. this in the old days and i think that's because i had her at point blank range commander shepherd my name is samesh Patia. forgive the intrusion but i have nowhere else to turn 
I wouldn't say I'm happy, but I am listening. What do you need? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Did they say why? Why did they refuse your request? Maybe there's, there's nothing left. Reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. Well, I'll figure it out. We'll look into it. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. Ah, even more. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. Because if I remember right, there's a couple keepers in this general direction. So we might as well just go ahead and head over here, anyways. There is one in the room behind the bar. And if I remember right, there's another one over here. And I know this not just because of take one. Although that heavily reinforced the knowledge. Not gonna lie. Bosker. My goodness, you're Commander yes. Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the Diplomatic Corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. A man named Samesh Bhatia is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Bhatia. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. Ah, you're running tests. A lab rat. You're studying her injuries to learn more about Geth weaponry. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. That's pretty, um... Well, that's a dark take on things. I understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. Commander, you of all people should understand how far we must go to protect humanity. Not if we lose our humanity in the process. I am out here fighting to stop crap like this. All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Batia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. You know, it would be really great, like if in the Grand Trilogy that actually came back to uh, bite you in the ass later. Because there's a lot of combat with Geth in the second one. Well, and this one too, to be fair, but not enough time has gone by. But in the second one, and definitely the third one, when you're fighting the Geth, you think seems strange. that that would have been enough time for the labs to come back with like better shielding for Geth weapons. But I don't think it ever factors in. This is basically just a freebie. And it's kind of lame, really. Come on, how awesome would it be if you're like trying to play the moral person in the first game and then in the third game, oh, troops are dying by the thousands because they can't stand up to the Geth weapons. Oops! Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? I reminded Mr. Bosker what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. Adios, senor. I think I gotta give it to uh, to Mary, though. Um, magical wow. She, uh, she's got a point about the whole humanity thing. If you don't... If you don't have humanity, if you lower yourself to a monstrous, or a monstrous condition in the course of fighting monsters, then you're not really any better. And I think we're going to the tower. In the words of the ever drunk Batman, I gotta get to the top of the tower. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Why does it sway? Come yeah. on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The 
beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. I mean, effing duh, but who? Who is she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. Hmm. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is? I mean, derp. It kinda does, and not yet. Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. Cursed to all. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. You feel that uh, they're probably real? They did doubt you, but come on. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren reason betrayed to be the sure that we all agree he's all three of those to options say the conduit, same thing, though. But we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. Uh, you saw him in a dream slash vision. That doesn't count. Again, you have to prove them wrong. Really believes this is the best option in my opinion. Fifty thousand years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in. A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Well, they'll do something, because they have to save face. That's just antagonizing. So we're gonna step up. I can take Saren down. The commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. It really is the best solution here. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human Spectre. Everybody's happy. I like the little nod from Blue there. She's like, yeah, I like that one. Commander Shepard, step forward. Eh, I run it slightly over, but whatever. It's a big deal, it's a good moment in the first one. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. 
They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. Hmm. About goddamn time. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. I got my own leads. I'll find him. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. Man, that's what I was saving those points for. I forgot the Spectre training. Ah, oh, whatever. I thought the Ambassador would be a little more grateful. He didn't even thank you. I mean, I do blame him a little bit, but it's no big deal. He's got a lot on his mind. Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. Yeah. And uh, we're going to cut it here. No, uh, no major deals or anything. Just farewell. Good night. It's been fun. We'll do it again soon.